hey dolls welcome back to my youtube channel so we're in 2017 and this is the first look of the year so happy to be back with a video for you guys i decided to go with this super sexy glow up blue smoky eye look for you guys it's totally out of my comfort zone blue eyes is not something i would ever do but i decided to do this look for you guys and i know you want me to just get on with it so if you want to know how i got this look stay tuned and keep watching Mwah. So we're going to go right in with the blue from the BH Cosmetics Modern Max palette. You guys already know that this is one of my favourite palettes. Simply for the fact that it's just a whole palette with just matte colours in it. So I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Obviously I forgot who I was and I forgot that I really didn't like blue. So I thought, you know what Nelly, just be on the safe side and put a little bit of orange as a transition crease colour. Just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to blend that all in with my blending brush from MAC. I've listed the brush number below, so that's fine. And now we're going to go in with the OPV palette. I love, 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 love this palette. I got it last week and I think it's amazing. The pigment is fabulous, as you guys can see. I'm just dabbing that onto my crease. And now I'm just blending out that orange and the blue, just to give a nice gradient colour. I don't want any harsh lines, so I'm just going to keep blending. And what is a smoky eye without any black? So I'm going into the OPV palette Gorgeous and just using the shimmery black in the outer corner of my eye and I'm just bringing that forward towards the mid section of my eye. And just dabbing into Giza from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I'm just going to use that beautiful gold in the inner corner of my eye, the tear duct area. And I'm just going to dab that in and try to just blend it in with the blue so that it doesn't look too harsh. And going in with an angle brush from MAC, I'm just going to line my eye, starting with the outside and dragging it towards the mid area and then just bringing it towards the front then going over everything i'm using black tracker gel pot because um eyeliner um sorry liquid eyeliner is not really my thing you guys know i live for gel liners if it is glitter though i do use liquid eyeliner on top of it just to neaten up my liner i'm just using the vintinelli concealer palette just to make it a little bit more sharp I just picked up this mascara from Maybelline just because I needed one because my mascara had run out and now I'm going to apply my BN Lux lashes in the style Vintinelli. You guys know that these are my favourites. Um, to put on my eyelashes I just apply it to the middle, stick the middle on first and do the edges as you guys can see it's just so much easier that way. Now we're going to prime my face with the Natural Radiance Primer from MAC and I'm just going to jot that all over. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what was that all over my face and i'm just gonna just rub it in like a moisturizer <laughs> now i'm just gonna use black opal's beautiful bronzer um just kind of apply it like a like i'm contouring my face really and now i'm gonna apply the truly topaz um like i'm highlighting my face and then i'm just gonna blend 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 it all out with a beauty blender that i got from real techniques Oh my god, I'm like speaking so fast. I'm not even there yet. Let's 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 you know what guys, let's just wait on me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna drench it in a little bit of Vix Plus and then I'm gonna just blend 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 blend. Um it's only because of you guys I'm using a beauty blender. You guys know that I prefer brushes. Well I used to prefer brushes, but this beauty blender life is very lit. So I think I'm gonna stick to it guys and thank you for those that recommended it to me. At the moment, I'm not interested in any other concealer to highlight my face with. I'm super in love with this NARS concealer, guys. Um, I do want to try the Kat Von D, but I'm just super in love with this one at the moment. So I think I'm going to keep it going. I'm using um, Shade Biscuit just to highlight all the areas of my face that I want natural light or any light to reflect off. And then we're just going to blend all the areas in which we applied the concealer. 
And then now we're going in with Black Opal's foundation stick in colour Black Walnut. We're just going to contour our cheeks, our nose and the forehead. Um, these are all the areas where I want to give that slimmer illusion. So that's why I'm going to apply my contour. For you it may be different. And now I'm just going to use the Real Techniques stippling brush. And I'm just going to work that in just to blend it in a little bit more. So guys, I was playing around with my setting powders and made a little concoction of my own. So I mixed my MAC Loose Powder um, in colour medium with my Sasha Buttercup, which is a very yellow colour for someone of my skin complexion. And um, I actually mixed the two and it works amazingly. First of all, the MAC Loose Powder lightens up the... Um, you know removes some of the yellow out of the sasha buttercup for me and um you know it still sets my face amazingly so yeah i was really happy with that now i'm gonna use soul hollywood by anastasia beverly hills just to highlight my cupid's bow and i'm gonna go in with cork by mac just to line my lips and to get it prepared for my lippy i'm using a nude lipstick for this look which is why i'm um you know just lining my lip with a brown color and naturally transform has got to be my bay of life it's a matte lipstick which is oh so sexy i love a good old matte however i thought for this look i don't really want a matte lip but i do want that color so i'm gonna go over it with smash oh my gosh what's wrong with me smashbox be, Le <laughs> be legendary lip gloss in um shade pink lady i just think it gives me that really sexy golden nude lip and for such a strong bold blue eye um i really had to go in with a super 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 nude lip and as you can see that looks really close to my actual skin tone just to dust off that setting powder i'm gonna go in with mac mineralized skin finish in color dark just to, um just to bring back my color and the warmth to my face and now i'm just going in with covergirl's queen collection bronzer and i'm just gonna apply that on all the areas in which i previously contoured with the cream stick foundation and for those of you guys wondering i do this just to intensify my contour so now that we've baked our entire face, um, I'm just going to dust off that excess powder that comes with um, setting your face sometimes. And I'm just going to go over my entire face with my powder brush with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I do this just again, just to even out everything and to make sure that everything was dusted off. applying raisin by mac just because every other blush is just irrelevant going back into that same opv palette i'm just going to use some of that blue on my lower lash line just you know just intensify the look a little bit more and then i'm going to use feline by mac just to line my waterline like so and then i'm going to go in with some mascara just on my bottom lashes And then using that same Giza colour from the Juvia's palette, I'm just going to apply some more of that into my tear duct. And then highlighting the cheekbones with Anastasia's Beverly Hill So Hollywood. This highlighter, illuminator or whatever is just so sexy. I love it. If I can drench my entire body and face with it, I seriously would. I was so excited that I forgot to set my face, guys. But please do it. And um, subscribe, like and comment and tell me what you guys think. See you later. Bye.